So here we have the seated cable row. This is mostly going to be working on the lats. However, our emphasis is going to be on scapular positioning as we go through the movement. So we're going to start off in a slightly protracted position here, making sure our spine is nice and neutral. We're going to initiate the movement by bending the elbows and starting to draw them inward. From here, we'll slowly allow the shoulder blades to glide in order to match our arm angle as we come back. Keep going, keep going. And now what you'll see is when we get to here, our shoulder and our elbow are going to be stacked in a nice straight line. In order to get a little bit more range of motion, we can start to extend through our T-spine a little bit. And now we'll be able to retract and pull back a little bit more. From here, we're going to allow the arms to go outward, stabilizing the shoulder. And then as the arm travels further, we'll let these protract. So let them go, let them go right from there. Now, one of the most common things we see is first the head falling off of line. So we want to make sure we're staying in a straight line with our head. Now, another fault that we see is arching into the lower back as we start to pull. What that does is puts all the tension into our rectors instead of into our lats. So we want to try and maintain that neutral alignment. Lastly, we want to make sure that we're not retracting the shoulder blades right off the bat as what this does is it actually puts the shoulder blade in a position where the arm bone is now mismatched with it. And that can put a lot of stress on the shoulder as we go through the movement. So we want to make sure that the arm bone and our shoulder blade are gliding together, working together as we go through the movement.